Jasmine Rodriguez was getting ready to clock out after a long day at work when a man walked in asking for an application. I remember handing him the application. Um, when he was doing that, the manager was like, okay, well, let's count your money so you can go home. And I was like, okay. So we, we, I took it. I went to the back. In the five minutes that Jasmine was gone, the man, later identified as Alfredo Acevedo Jr., took the time to scout out the area. As you can see in the surveillance video, Alfredo walks around the counter, grabs a mint, and then walks out of frame. A few seconds later, he comes back in and attempts to use a key card to open the cash register. When that doesn't work, he walks away again, only to come back one final time, open the cabinet, and steal Jasmine's purse. Once I came back, like five minutes later to go home, there was an empty space in the cabinet and my purse was gone. Alfredo was gone. I reviewed the tape with one of my managers that was on duty, um, and then I called the cop. To, to see exactly who took it. While Alfredo might have gotten away with Jasmine's purse, he did leave behind some important information, his application. Well, he turned in the application after he took my purse. He stole my purse. And he took it before. Yeah. So he didn't even take the application? No, he handed it into one of the employees that was working on duty yesterday. Police were quickly able to locate Alfredo at his home and arrest him for theft. He was very dumb for leaving it there. <laughs> for putting all his information on there. I still laugh, I mean, because it's an, I'm in shock. Like, who would do that? Like, that was just a dumb criminal right there. Jasmine says she might have lost $80, but she gained some useful knowledge. Never leave valuable items where anyone can get their hands on them. In McAllen, Katie Lopez, Action 4 News.